What's going on guys? Welcome back to part two. So today we're at Nate's place again. Um gonna be sanding down his whole car if possible and bondoing. So this is what we've been doing to the hood. Well Nate's been doing to the hood. There's a fuck ton of rust. Don't know why. Uh we're thinking it's probably from the coolant. Because um he doesn't have a reservoir. So there's like a little tubing that um that comes out from the little res uh the radiator cap. And I think coolant's coming out from there. And then it probably sprayed on all over this. And that's probably why it's created all this rust. We're gonna sand everything down and then bondo. There, there's some rust spray you can do. Uh, yeah. Some. Yeah, so we're, I guess we're not gonna bondo. Because, yeah, so we got, we're only gonna do it for the top part, but the underbody. And we're just gonna go some rust spray, whatever it is. Let's get down and sand down the car. Alright, guys, so before anything, we're gonna try and get this bowl right here out because uh, we're gonna, we wanna try to remove this this trim a uh, screw extractor here use a hammer and just kind of bang it in there and try to unscrew that if possible but let's see how it goes hey guys um so this is what happened so we gotta we gotta remove but uh we couldn't extract it at all so we ended up drilling the whole thing out so uh this is what it looks like now and we're gonna be drilling out the whole thing and actually try using the extractor again with wd-40 so let's hope it works. All right, guys. Um, tried doing it, but it didn't work. So we kind of just fucking drew it all like that. Um, for, but for right now, we're just gonna leave it. We're just gonna use the other screws for now. But without further ado, let's actually get down and sand the entire car. The car's almost done. Um, we're just roughing it out now because we're not gonna do uh, all the down to bare metal anymore because that's too much work. So we're just gonna rough it out and then primer over it. Then we should be good. As you can see there, this is Nate's new quarter panel. Um, so this is Nate's new quarter panel. We, we cut a few stuff off. You guys can see. Um, so that, because the rust is right here. This is the rust and this is how bad it is. And uh, so we're gonna cut that out and just put it over like this. And uh, I'm gonna be welding it. Um, so we're just gonna be cutting out all uh, that you guys see the line So that's what we're gonna be cutting out right now so that we can bond it right after this So it's be pretty easy. So let's do this guys All right guys, if you guys can hear me um, This is what the core panel looks like now. We cut it out. Uh, now it looks like this This is what's gonna look like it's gonna look super good and this is it so all I gotta do is weld now and then everything else should be good. So here comes the welding process. I'm not that good of a welder, but hopefully it turns out good. All right guys, um, this is what it kind of looks like. So we can't, uh, my welding sucks, like I said. I could've done better, but it was kind of hard because I had to do one-handed the whole time to hold it up because I don't have C-clamps or any clamps. But at the same time, I can't weld the whole entire thing because behind this the actual quarter panel, there's like a, like a little wire uh, here. So behind the actual thing has these things. It looks like fiber, whatever, like sheet fiber, I think that's what it's called. So it has those things, so when I weld, it keeps lighting up on fire. So I can only do some parts of it, so this is what I'm do I've done. And then we're gonna bundle everything else so we're gonna bondo and then make it look all good but at least this looks better than the rusted out quarter panel so bondo we're gonna start right, right there and i'll mix it up we're gonna start off with fiberglass first um and now that bondo right over that so hopefully uh we can do this good now that i got the fiberglass all mixed up now let's go and apply it all right guys this is what it looks like now. This is the fiberglass. Fiberglass is for reinforcement. Um, it actually looks really good. Ish. It's kind of messy, but it's okay. Um, after this, we're going to go over it with Bondo. So we're going to sand this smooth, and then we're going to go over it with Bondo. It should be pretty easy, honestly. So let's wait for it to dry, then we can sand. So this is what it looks like now. I sanded it down, and now I use the actual Bondo. It looks really good. Um, after this, I'm just gonna have to sand the whole thing down. Make sure everything's all smooth. Um, it looks 
pretty good. Just need to make it smooth. And then after that, this quarter panel should be good. And we should be done with the quarter panel. And then we just gotta do sanding on everything else. All that. So, four more pieces. And we should be good. This is what it looks like now. It actually looks so much better now. Um, still gotta do more bondo right here and then do more sanding. Because uh, I need to me around that part right there but so far I did a pretty good job this is my first time doing bondo and I actually did a pretty good job I'm actually impressing myself but for right now I gotta get more bondo bondo over everything and then it should be good so this is what it looks like so far okay all standing out and smooth out it looks so good. Um, this part we're gonna leave that because we don't really need that. And you can't weld onto rusted parts like this. So. And then we kind of bondo this side too. And I put a little bit of bondo on this because there's a little dent there. But now the car should be good. Um, it should be good. After that all dries out and sanded, I'm going to be using this thing, which is, uh, it's for like little spots that you miss. You know, it's little spots that the bottle couldn't go into, so you use this on top of it. And that makes it look a hundred times better. So, that's that. Now comes the waiting process. Alright guys. Now it's getting, uh, it's in the afternoon now. Um, we got this done. This is like the little, um, this is for the, like the little spots, um, did it here too. And did it here on this core panel and on the door. Because, because it's a big ass dent right here, so. Um, mainly done with sanding. Just need to do a little bit more sanding on the bumpers. And we should be almost done. After we're done, we can uh, spray on adhesive and then uh, wipe it all dry. You know, remove all, remove all dust and grease. And then we should be ready for primer. And we hope that we can get it done by next weekend. Because Nate's not going to be here next weekend. So hopefully we can get it done by next weekend. But so far, just got to do a whole bunch of cleaning. And we should be good. Well, guys, this is it for the video, guys. So I came down here, came back home washed up and now I'm all clean now but this is it for the video guys um we still got a lot of a lot of work to do still on the car so there will be a part three guys so stay tuned to that um but for right now this is it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up you know and also hit that subscribe button guys you know so you guys don't miss any of my videos without further ado guys peace out I'll see you guys next time